The hunt for protective gear has begun. Leaders sent scrambling amid a worldwide surge in demand for medical supplies. Some have accused the US of playing dirty. Berlin authorities furious on Saturday that a shipment of 200,000 surgical masks was confiscated at Bangkok airport. The mayor of Berlin said the masks, which had been ordered for the police, had been diverted to the US. Germany's interior minister described it as an act of modern piracy. French officials have also pointed their finger at the US, saying they were being outbid by Americans paying in cash on the tarmac for shipments they had lined up. One official called it a treasure hunt. The accusations came as President Donald Trump announced a ban on the export of ventilators, masks and other medical supplies. We need these items immediately for domestic use. We have to have them. Manufacturer 3M said on Friday the White House had ordered it to stop all shipments to Canada and Latin America. That's despite what the company called significant humanitarian implications. The Canadian leader blasted the decision. And it would be a mistake to um, create blockages or uh, reduce the amount of back and forth trade of essential goods and services, including medical, medical goods, uh, across our border. That is the point we're making uh, very clearly to the American administration uh, right now. The surge in demand for masks in particular has been the result of a U-turn of sorts on guidelines over whether ordinary people need to wear them in public. The top infectious diseases expert on Friday told Americans that wearing a mask was the safest option. Because the data is it's, it's more efficient to prevent transmitting to others than it is to prevent transmission to yourself. But you can completely cover that ballpark if essentially universally when people go out and are in a situation where they might come into closer contact, that they wear that mask. The race for supplies comes as the COVID-19 situation worsens around the world. With over a million cases, competition has intensified. Governments are being criticised for securing supplies at the expense of others. How the race will pan out and which countries will come out on top remains to be seen. Nicole Ng, CGTN.